What's Gucci, my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about a cool plugin in Lightroom that uses artificial intelligence to edit your images based on your editing style. This plugin is called Batch AI and full disclosure, Batch AI did reach out to me and they did pay me for this video, but that's all they paid me for was for the production of the video. And it's because of sponsors like Batch AI that are willing to pay creators for reviews and not try to take over what is said in the reviews that we are able to have this awesome community that I have built on my channel. So I thank you Batch AI for that and thank you for being an awesome sponsor. So let's talk about why I'm super excited about this plugin. It's really cool to see artificial intelligence making it into the realm of photography kind of in a way where it's like outsourcing your editing. See, the concept of having someone else do your editing is not unheard of. Back in 2013, when I started photography, the elite photographers who were photographing 20 weddings a year with high volumes of photos were outsourcing their work. That way they had more time to dedicate to their client experience. However, programs like that, and even today, can cost upwards of a dollar fifty per photo, sometimes even two dollars per photo if you want certain things done. So when you do the math, it can come up to upwards of $3,000 per wedding when you outsource your editing process. And that really puts it at a premium and isn't something that's feasible for a lot of photographers. Hence why I think AI could be the great equalizer. Before we get into this, just remember that there is a free trial in the description down below for you to try Batch AI yourself and determine if it is for you. And also there is an instruction video link down below on how to install Batch AI. AI for the purpose of time. So let's head over into Lightroom and I'm going to show you how this works. So here we are in Lightroom. I have a couple of shoots in this category. I have a wedding here that I shot at a mansion here in Grand Rapids. I also have a portrait session that I did with two models at Tulip Time. And then I also have an engagement session that I shot on film. Some of my favorite photos from each of them. Now what you're going to notice here is that you have these pink labels on the images. I simply right clicked on the image, set a color label, and I chose purple for my images. And these are my anchor images. With these anchor images, what I've done is I've gone ahead and applied the preset that I use to edit my photos. I use a Fuji Pro 400H film preset for my digital work to match my film work. So I've gone ahead and I've made all the adjustments on these anchor images. And the way that I choose anchor images is that anytime I really have a shift in the scene or lighting or chapter of a shoot, I'm going to go ahead and create an anchor image. So you can see here that we have some pretty consistent lighting with respect to these table details going on here and these florals. And then we switch to some bridal portraits that have different lighting and a different background. Now, because my exposure style is pretty consistent, I wanted to see if I could kind of trick the AI and see how it responds. So if you take a look at this negative here, we can see the histogram is pretty well evenly exposed. But when we look at this image here, it's exposed to the right, probably about a stop and a half overexposed on that negative. So I want to see how the artificial intelligence handles that. So we're going to go ahead and select all these images, right? And I'm only going to do these images here. We're going to save these for last. Something special for you guys coming up. And we're going to go ahead and go to File, Plugin Extras, Batch AI, right? So we have Color Label Set Purple. This is our anchor image that we have going on here. You can select an anchor image by using flagged, unflagged, one, two, three stars, etc., or any of the color labels. I have purple here. We're not going to do any of these selections. We're going to talk about that with that other set of photos. And all we're going to do is run batch AI. Let's go ahead and click run. Okay. So we have 86 total photos and it is going through working on them all now. And boom, we are done. Okay, so that's done. 74 totals, I guess. 74 photos total is what it processed. So looking at this off the bat, I really like these detail images here. The way that this one looks is pretty much what I actually edited when I did this wedding, going through some of these images. I maybe would adjust my shadows just a bit. So one of the things we can do in this case is we can actually just use our quick develop to really account for those exposure differences in certain images. And that's really what I'm gonna have to do here with these bridal portraits because these are a little bit too overexposed for my liking. These two are pretty spot on. 
And you can see here that if we're looking at this panel here, Batch AI did make different adjustments of the highlight shadows, whites, and black. So it's not the same as if we simply just used the sync setting in Lightroom. It does make individual adjustments, but this is by no means a deal breaker. This to me is like getting the images back from a post house and going through a proofing phase. So these two are pretty spot on exposure wise, but these ones that are just a little too bright for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the quick develop after I've selected them to bring them all down a bit. And that was actually temperature. That's not the one that I wanted. I wanna bring the exposure down, there we go. And that should bring them all down into the realm of where I would like them to be. So now when we go ahead and look at this image, it is much more balanced. So those have been corrected. It's just taking Lightroom a second to update for me. That's the moral of the story. It struggled with those ones just a bit. But then when we're looking at these outside images, I think it did a pretty good job overall. Moving on to this portrait session, I think this one is just a little bit darker here. So again, I'm just going to bump up that exposure and that's how you work through this. So this is where I'm really impressed, which is with my film work. I only used one anchor image and everything is actually where I would probably deliver it at. And that definitely makes my film scans a lot easier. Just looking across the board at the different tones throughout the images, the skin tones look amazing. And it's exactly the way that I do edit my images. So I'm really happy with the way that that worked out. And that was actually a present surprise for me because it's not a raw image that I have here. These are JPEGs back from the lab. So the fact that it did pretty well with that does make me happy. So let's take a look at this last little section that I have here for you guys, this last little treat. And this is where I'm going to actually use some brush adjustments and some cropping to see how Batch AI can handle this. So I made a highlight adjustment on these windows here that's pouring in this natural light with this photo that I have going on here. And I've also set the crop to be eye level. So we're gonna go ahead and run Batch AI with this last set of images. And what I wanna see is if it does a good job because a lot of people do use brush adjustments. I personally don't use these adjustments. I just did these edits to see how Batch AI will work. And I also want to see how it's gonna handle the horizontal aspect of this as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this in. So we're gonna go ahead, file, plugins, Batch AI, boom color purple, we're gonna include these masks. Now read with me real quick. Batch AI will intelligently reference your brush and gradient tools per anchor and utilize them in their respective sets. Currently gradient and brush tools must be dragged into place manually for each corresponding image. We are working towards automating this process in the future versions of our plugin. Stay tuned. So that's what I was talking about. That you can see that this is really a work in progress and they have a lot of things brewing behind the scenes. And I really can't wait to see what this plugin is going to be like in a year. We're just gonna go ahead and click got it. We're gonna include these as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a full, or actually an auto with respect to the transformation and leveling. And then we're gonna do a four by five crop because that's what I did. We're gonna run Batch AI on these photos. So you can actually see the adjustments even on the right side being tweaked per photo just a little bit. So we are done. And as you can see, these are not perfect where they're at. We will have to redrag them and adjust them. And the crop is not quite where I would have placed it as well, but it does put things somewhat in the correct area. So if you're not deviating too much, you really shouldn't have an issue if you're looking for something with full automation. What you will need to do though is really probably separate your horizontal images from your vertical ones if you are using these brush adjustments because as you can see it does not place them there correctly i'm honestly pretty sure that that's common practice and what batch ai suggests i'd be surprised if they don't but that's what i would do there so again i'm pretty sure that these are things that will probably become more automated in the future for sure i'm pretty much a stickler on my cropping. I'll go through and do it myself for most images. So what are my final thoughts on this plugin? Do I have a recommendation for you? 
Honestly, Batch AI has this free trial. I recommend you definitely 100% try it out for yourself and see if you can use it in your own workflow. With the way that this has worked for me so far, I can definitely see myself, especially when I'm coming home from long weddings, using this on my initial editing pass because all I have to do is organize and set my anchor images up. And then I'm always a stickler going through on that proofing process and going through and making sure that everything is perfect the way that I like it, especially when I'm submitting for publication. And really to me, that doesn't bother me that it's not something that I can't throw in and it works just boom, 100% the first time. Because even when you're using something as powerful as ChatGPT, you still need to go back and look at what it has written for you and proofread it so that you make sure that it's sounding the way that you want it to sound. So I think of this more as a tool and I definitely think that it is far more valuable than simply using the sync feature, especially because you have those anchor images images. And I think as this program improves, it's only going to get more powerful. But if I had to give you a final thought and a recommendation towards Batch AI, they were very enthusiastic to hear what I felt about this plugin looking at my work. I think that if you can manage to get rid of those hiccups with exposure and really get the plugin and the software to intelligently look at your shadows, your midtones, your highlights, and your skin tones, and adjust for those things on a photo by photo basis and not rely so heavily on the anchor image, actually maybe a little bit more freedom on the software side, you will definitely level that playing field from having a human at a post-production house go through and do somebody else's editing for them. And that will be when artificial intelligence and editing has that chat GPT revolution. So I'm super excited to see where you guys take this very good job on the plugin. And again, thank you guys for the opportunity with that guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. If you have not leave me a comment down below. What do you think about artificial intelligence in the future of AI editing our photos? Be sure to follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below. Go show our friends over at Batch AI some love too. Their links are in the description down below. And we can't forget our YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. My beautiful people, now more than ever, if you're ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. I'm Cindy. I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace out.